happy with the wilderness. It just ought to be managed. It has to be managed. We need fire in the wilderness. You can start it in April when you have people to watch it and it's moist and it's going to burn slowly, not burn down to mineral soil. Or you can wait till August when Mother Nature starts a hundred of them at once. You ain't got the assets and nothing can stop them. It's just stupid. I point my finger at the radical environmentalists who have pretty much butchered the timber industry and impoverished a whole area. Is there time? Is there space? I didn't know I was in a race. Are we in balance with nature? What a morning, what a day. In my hands, nature's way. You know, this is my land. Well, yeah, it is your land, but don't you have some responsibility? You know, we're just going to trash it. The Endangered Species Act is a tool that was designed and has been implemented to take control of land. That's all it is. With this hammer, with this nail, up the mountains, wide and shrill. Flowers bloom in the middle run. We're gonna see how the shoe fits. The other foot. The other foot. I think the key word here is stewardship. I hear the scream of a thousand teeth. Cloud of dust and the job's complete. I can't believe it's God's design to leave this field of broken pine. Well, I think we need to protect our river corridors. It could have easily been subdivided, split up, uh, and uh, have a have a very negative impact on on the resource ecosystem. There's another good word for you. Riparian corridors uh, is essential to to uh, to maintain that. Basically, setback is a dictated distance from some activity to the edge of the stream. What could or could not happen in that zone, the biggest concern that I heard was a lot of folks were losing opportunity to use their land. The public was going to have a right to cross their land. The issue is, does not center around the resource. It centers around politics. As we you know, position and posture ourselves individually and as groups, cultures, and against each other at all levels uh, for, for all of history. And I just, you know, I just don't know where I ask the question, where's the love in it? Torn between my heart and mind, agony and joy combined. Nothing children left to find what legacy. about the vital uh, future of your offspring. Leave behind. Don't you? Leave behind. Can I ask a question? Who decided that no species should ever be allowed to become extinct? Well, Darwinists insist that humans evolve from species that no longer exist. How does it make sense for those same people to claim that all species should be saved? If that had been the case with the species humans evolved from, would human beings be what they are today? That's the attitude. Oh, I, we don't care about no future generations. They're not here yet. There are species, I would venture to say, that existed and became extinct, and we never even knew about them. And what impact have they had on us? How can we sustain ourselves? How can we create a, and maintain a vital earth community of human beings and all sentient life? The ultimate solution is everybody's got to, everybody's got to, you know, talk. It's a mutual respect deal, you know, and if it doesn't go both ways, you know, everybody loses. Because the Earth is a closed system. Last time I checked, there's no stuff coming here from Mars. I mean, because there are people, people that care, care about where they live, you know.